find a picture. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rieta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rieta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but His Grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the Syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bloda is damned, or cursed. What's Kusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Hmm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Huh. Is it? Let's see. Expecto Ludum.
Regis? Regis! Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me.